Hadith 7, the religion is Nasiha, sincere advice. On the authority of Tamim al-Dari, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the religion is Nasiha, sincerity. We said, to whom? He, peace be upon him, said, to Allah, his book, his messenger, and to the leaders of the Muslims and their common folk. Muslim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. It's a beautiful hadith because it gives you a summary of this deen. The Prophet said in a hadith reported by Imam Muslim that الدين النصيحة Religion is advice. And this is just a rough translation of the word نصيحة. But when you read the hadith, you know that this is not a perfect translation. Because the Sahaba they said, to whom, O Prophet Allah, should we give نصيحة? To whom should we give advice? Then the Prophet said, to Allah, to his book, to his messenger, to the leaders of the Muslims, and to the common people. But we cannot give advice to Allah Azza wa Jal because Lisa Kamitlihi Shay, who was Samir al Basir, there is none like unto him, and he's the all hearer, the all seer. So we have to go back to the root of Nasiha, the word Nasiha. In Arabic, Nasaha means to purify. So you say, for example, Nasahtu al-Asal, that I've purified honey, made it pure. And also we say that the tailor sewed the cloth, means that he fixed it to make it perfect. So that is the true meaning of Nasiha. Nasiha means sincerity and excellence and perfection. So then we'll go back now to the hadith to understand it the right way. Religion is advice. Religion is sincerity. Then the Sahaba, they asked, for whom, O oh Prophet Allah, should we give this sincerity? He said, number one, to Allah Azza wa Jal. So our worship towards Allah Azza wa Jal should be done with sincerity. We should love Allah Azza wa Jal. We should worship Him. We should know Him by understanding His beautiful and majestic names. We should do whatever He asks us to do. We should stay away from whatever He asks us to stay away from. That is the true sincerity towards Allah Azza wa Jal. Let's not associate anyone with Allah for this sincerity and this love to be perfect and pure. And then the second is to his book, the Qur'an, the words of Allah Azza wa Jal. Everybody claims that we love the Qur'an, but how much sincerity do we have towards the Qur'an? That is the question. We read the Qur'an when somebody is dead. We read the Qur'an when we are in trouble. But no, Qur'an should be a companion in our daily lives. That is why we should be sincere towards the Qur'an by first, reading it. Second, understanding it. Three, pondering about it. Four, implementing it in our daily lives. That is the true sincerity. That is the true nasiha towards the book of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then the third one is towards the messenger of Allah. Wali rasulihi, the messenger of Allah. Again, everybody claims that but he claims that they love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But do we truly, truly love him? Loving the Prophet sallallahu means to follow his footsteps. Not just to say and utter words that we love the Prophet. How much we follow him? How much we follow his sunnah? How much we are ready to sacrifice our time, our money, our feelings in order to follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is the true love towards the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's why Allah azza wa jal says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, a beautiful verse for those who claim that they love Allah and they love his messenger. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ That if you claim that you love Allah, then follow me, meaning follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and surely Allah will love you. And then number four is towards the leaders of the Muslims. Leaders, whether they are rulers, scholars, or people of authority, they have a right on us. We should be sincere towards them by telling them when they are wrong, that they are wrong, and show them how to fix it. And when they are right, to encourage them, and to help them, 
That is the true sincerity towards the Muslim leaders. Again, as I said, whether they are scholars, people of authority, or rulers. And the last one, towards the common people. Towards people like me and you. We have to be sincere. The Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لأخيه ما يحب لنفسه None of you shall believe, none of you shall reach the highest level of faith that he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. And because we want to be good, we want to make no mistakes, the same way we want it for other brothers and sisters. Whenever we see something that is not good, we should tell our brothers about it. And with this, we love for them what we love for our own selves. This hadith, even though there are few words, but the Prophet ﷺ was given Jawami al kalim as he said about himself. In few words, he can say things that scholars and philosophers have to write books to explain it. He said it, that deen is nasiha, sincerity. We should have sincerity in our lives towards Allah, towards his book, towards the messenger of Allah, towards the leaders of the Muslims, and towards common people. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to purify our intentions, to forgive our sins, and to make us steadfast on the path of guidance, the path of Islam. Thank you very much for your good listening. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.